Hello and welcome to this video from Client Engager. My name is Johan Gori and today I'm going to show you how to A, create a new service in Client Engager, but B, how we can use the services in Client Engager to tackle a very common problem in accounting firms, and that is one service with multiple frequency deadlines. So let's get into Client Engager. We'll have a look at our demo account and work out how we can do this. Okay, here we are in Client Engager in our demo account. So first of all, we're going to go over to settings and we're going to go down to services. And what we're going to do first is we're going to add a service. So this is how we create a new service in Client Engager. First of all, we click Add, and then we just work through the list of requirements. So do we want this service to be turned on or off? Well, it's a new service. We're going to be using it, so we're going to keep it turned on. Is this an internal service or an external service? If it's internal and you don't want it to register on your client's letter of engagement or anything like that, um, then you would turn say it's internal. If you want it to be on your letters of engagement in your scheduler services, then you'd say, no, it's not an internal service. An example of an internal service might be, we have a client catch up service. So every one of our client managers will try and touch base with every single client every three months. And to create that deadline and make sure that frequency is delivered, we have a service called client catch up and that service is turned on with every single client and it's set for three months from the start of their engagement with us. So that's what we would call an internal service because we don't necessarily need that service to be listed on a letter of engagement or a scope of services. And we wouldn't also want to necessarily charge for that service. So we would just turn it on as an internal service. We then carry on through this list. Do we have a checklist we want to use? Yes or no. Does the service need to be MTD registered? Yes or no. So this is only relevant for MTD VAT at the moment you might turn it on eventually for ITSA in the next few years. Do we need agent authorization for this service? So PayYE, VAT, corporation tax, things like that, we would want those that turned on for. We can link the service to a billable service in QuickBooks if we wanted to. And then we just go through and fill out the boxes. So we'll call this one client catch up. It will system will automatically give it a short name. We can then set a default fee if we want to. Then we can also set the default frequency. This is the billing frequency, not the surface frequency. So I'm just going to say we will we'll bill this monthly. That's fine. We can then build out our pricing structure for this using our pricing equations. If it's an external service, we'd then be asked to select a schedule of services. So this is what service, what schedule needs to be attached to the letter of engagement when this service is turned on. Then we'd set the default frequency of the work. So as I said, this is client catch up and we want this to happen every three months. So we've done that. Then we'd build out the phases and we can assign that to people, etc. And then we're gonna press save. That service is then added to the bottom of our service list here. And we can drag that up to be anywhere in the service list we want. So that's how you add a new service. Now, the reason I've shown you that first is because that's important for the next step. When we have something like payroll, payroll sometimes a client will have two payrolls, a weekly or fortnightly one, and then a monthly one for salaried people. So obviously having a payroll service that can only have one frequency on is a bit of a challenge. So what I would suggest, and the fix we have for this in our own firm, is that you have two payroll services created. One could be just your, your normal payroll service that is already pre-built pre into this. The second one would be a payroll service two or whatever you want to call that service. And you'd set that frequency for whatever you like. In our service list, we have payroll as you would in yours by default, and we have payroll weekly. And any clients that have weekly or fortnightly payroll, we turn that one on as well as their normal payroll service, which is monthly. So, that way we can have two different payroll deadlines going through on the same client because we have two services. Our second payroll service is not attached to any scheduler services because the first payroll service that's turned on on a monthly basis, that triggers the schedule service for our letter of engagement and you don't want the same schedule on there twice. Um, so in our opinion, that first schedule covers both services, both frequencies basically. So that's how we would do this. 
Another example where we have the same service on there twice is bookkeeping. So all of our clients have monthly bookkeeping. And in that process, we go through all their banks, their sales, their expenses. We reconcile the bank, we reconcile the balance sheets, and we review it to make sure everything's done. But we have some clients who need daily and weekly and fortnightly bookkeeping. So for what we've done there is we've created a shorter workflow where we just go through the bank feeds, we just go through the sales and expenses, and we allocate everything. And then when we come to do that service on a month, at the end of the month or whenever we're going to do it as a monthly service, we've got the monthly bookkeeping service that's got a more detailed workflow, which every client has. And clients that have the smaller require have a bookkeeping requirement on a daily, weekly, or fortnightly basis, we've got a shorter workflow in the bookkeeping service that we turn on for every day or every fortnight or every seven days, whatever it's going to be, we can do it that way. Another example of when you might need to have two payroll frequencies is if someone has a fortnightly payroll and a four-weekly payroll. Um, I've seen that in construction industry. We've seen uh, certain clients that have a monthly or a weekly payroll, and then they have an annual payroll for the directors. So all of these things, are, what we would do is we'd create another service under the payroll or the bookkeeping, whatever it is, so that we can turn on multiple frequencies of services, but still deliver the same scope of services to the client. Hope that all makes sense. Um, if you've got any questions, please feel free to stick it in the comments under this video or get in touch with us directly. I look forward to speaking to you again in another video and taking you through more aspects of how to use Client Engager in the near future. Thank you and goodbye.